um, welcome to today's video and on today's video I'm going to show you how you can withdraw from your Ember fund I have done this before but there is some little changes and I am going to address it and there is also another reason why I'm making this video which is most important so make sure you watch the video to the end <clears throat> now um, this is my Ember fund and this is my Satoshi Initially, if you want to withdraw from your Satoshi, you just need a $5,000 equivalent of your Satoshi and you can withdraw. But right now, you need at least um, 10,000 Satoshi before you'll be able to withdraw. And right now, I am already in 13,000 Satoshi. Now, to withdraw, all you need to do, you notice on the bottom area where it says profile, bottom right, click on that. And then you notice where it says um, <clears throat> start reward, click on start reward. Now, if you click on start reward, you notice this area where it has this forward arrow next to the total amount. This is the total amount right here. So this is where you click on this arrow right here. Click on that. Now, there are different options. The first one is to trade or invest. The second one is um, Ember Premium. The third is actually keep in wallet. Now, if you say keep in wallet, it's going to do nothing because already your BTC is already in wallet. But now, if you say uh, trade or invest, you notice below it gives you uh, the feedback. It actually says this option is coming soon. I just wish this trade or invest is actually available. I would have loved to use that. But then if you are into, if you want to use premium, you can click that to say premium. So for premium, all you just need to do is to be using your Satoshi, this, this Satoshi, to be using your Satoshi to actually predict uh, uh, or to build your portfolio. So you just choose about any of the token that you can see right here. You choose that and then you know you are going to choose at least three and then you forward. No, it's just like the normal tournament you do, but this time you are going to be paying 250 Satoshi. But that is actually not what I want to do. So I want to withdraw and I want you to go to my wallet. So um, all I need to do do the same thing go to satoshi reward forward and then you click on no thanks which is actually the last option this is the option that i am going to select right now so um you say no thanks i did like to redeem you click on that and there are two options this and then this and now this is actually very important this is why i said you should watch to the end so you notice right there the fee to withdraw um to withdraw your bitcoin in polygon format is 0 0.50 right but when you withdraw this is going to be in uh in a zero um in polygon uh, network of wbtc which is actually wrapped btc now the second option is uh ember wallet ember bitcoin wallet if you choose this it's going to remove two dollar from your account and also is also going to cost you a gas fee so it's going to cost you a gas fee to transfer this to bitcoin wallet um to ember fund wallet and also it's going to cost you another gas fee to transfer it to your wallet so after everything i don't think i'm even going to have 10 cents if i do this because i've actually done a transaction previously and it was really horrible because the gas fee of bitcoin right now is just too much that's the reason why you can see this amount displaying right here so um because the gas fee is too much i'm going to go ahead and set to with the first option which is um <clears throat> w b uh polygon which is this option right here so i'm going to click on that and i'm going to say continue now it's going to ask for my wallet i should enter my wallet right here but since i do not know my wallet or i, I actually um <clears throat> i actually do not have a wallet with uh polygon so uh what i need to do is actually follow their process or to watch their tutorial this is the tutorial uh saved or, uh, <clears throat> or added by ember fund so you click on that to read it and understand so when you click on this you can go through all of this information but instead of going through it since you are watching my video i'm just going to summarize it for you so everything is saying here is actually telling you how to withdraw um, the wbtc and it's also going to teach you how to convert it so i already read everything and i can do them so i am going to show you guys all of the process so um you can either use a uh, cool coin uh, coinbase wallet or you use metamask wallet but i'm going to use metamask wallet because i do not like coinbase coinbase is not bad anyway so um i'm going to go ahead and proceed if you scroll down you are going to see uh the metamask now um an important thing we actually need to copy 
is actually to copy uh, the custom token address. So all we need to do is to click and hold, click and hold it, and then you click copy. It's going to copy the uh, custom address. Now, the next thing you need to do, I just went back. Now it's currently on Ember, do not forget. So we are going to close, we are going to minimize Ember. We will come back very soon. And then we are going to go to MetaMask. So open MetaMask and then um, if you, if you haven't downloaded MetaMask, go ahead and download it. But uh, if you have Coinbase, you should just go ahead and do it on Coinbase. It's still the same procedure, but a bit different. So let's wait for MetaMask to load and it has finished loading. Now, um, on default, this might be on Ethereum because Ethereum is usually the default. So um, this is Ethereum wallet, like this is Ethereum wallet wallet so i'm going to click on the drop down area on this top area let me just highlight so that for the people that are not paying attention click on that for it to drop down just once and you are going to see polygon if you do not see polygon display here just click on add network and then you search for polygon you are going to see polygon displayed and you can click on add but right now i already added polygon so it's not going to but if you can find polygon you can also go to custom network and you paste the name and you paste the link and you'll be able to find it but then polygon is already here so i'm going to click on this and i'm going to add it i i actually added polygon not now i've already added before now so it's going to open your polygon it's still loading this is polygon right now now the next thing you need to do you notice right where it says um import token right that is what you need so you click on import token wait for it you click on import token and then you search um wbtc and if you can't find it that's fine if you can't find it it's okay click on custom uh token click and hold and then you paste the link that you copy do not forget uh that there was a link we copied and automatically it's going to display the token symbol you can see it right there wbtc if it does not display the token symbol that means what you copied is wrong or you have a poor internet so um you notice also the decimal is also it so the next thing you need to do is to click on import hold on click on import and this is going to start importing so this has finished importing and you can notice it right there right it says uh wrapped btc this is correct now all you need to do right now is to click on wrapped btc and you can see everything displaying right here now you can click on receive okay let me go ahead and still show you once you scroll down you can see receive right here just click on that and then you can see the address displaying right here so just click on copy you can see copy displaying also which is in the middle you know notice he copied the address so um after he copied all i need to do is to come right here paste the address that was copied and then um it should be correct okay done um i don't know why it's taking okay uh, i forgot you just have to actually accept this so you click on that and then you review so you notice it actually asking me um how much i am going to withdraw the minimum satoshi so i actually want to withdraw everything like everything um i really hate having to type i just wish it, i can just enter it on default so 13 900 point one zero one five okay and you can see the um amount right there so all you need to do is to click on continue and you can see everything displaying this is the amount that i want to withdraw this is the network fee very low and this is the amount that i am going to receive i am actually making profit if i did this because i i'm not going going to lose two dollars so i'm going to click on withdraw and you notice it says you cannot uh, request you cannot request mining withdrawal until you verified your phone number i think i've actually done this before but let's go ahead and do this so um i do not know why he's asking of this because i think i've actually done this before and now guys i have multiple accounts and i don't know which one i actually added this is this is a new update though so um let me see let me add my main number you know what let me add a different number all right guys so i have verified my phone number and i'm going to tap withdraw again and it says your withdrawal request has been successfully processed and i can say okay 
and this is not going to process immediately it's going to take a while but just do not forget uh the month is currently on April, uh, 30th april if this was not 30th april i might not be able to withdraw that so guys i hope this video is helpful and don't forget to smash like and subscribe for more video and also um, i'm going to let you guys know how long it took to drop into my account and if you have further question leave it on the comment section hopefully i will answer to that peace